you smell what the rock is cooking. Time and men of the board a hole here, and this kind of works. <laughs> I just had one of the worst sleeps in my entire life. Who knows why? That's just what happens sometimes in this crazy world. But it ties into today's video, which is all about The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the great one, the people's champion. It, it, it doesn't matter. And all of that. Because basically, his fitness and diet routine also ties into his life, le life lessons and his workout and all these things that he does. Let me just turn the lights on in here so you can see what's going down. He travels all over the world for his movies and everything like that, but because of this, you know, you can go on his Instagram, you can go on his Twitter, and he's always talking about the fact that, oh my gosh, you know, I just did this 10 hour flight, but I made sure I get to the gym, and I did this, and I did that. So this works quite well. I'm exhausted, didn't sleep, it just happens. You just have to accept it. Your body is a weird thing. Maybe you're stressed, maybe your cortisol levels are high, but I'm gonna do my fasted cardio, because that's what The Rock does. He gets up, he smashes a coffee, and he goes and gets it done. So even though I'm tired, even though I'm more down, even though I just wanna sit in my bed and eat a bunch of cheese, cake what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash some amino acids I don't drink caffeine I've done a video about it you can check it out and then I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna do my faster cardio then I'm gonna take you through how the rock basically does his day and we're gonna end all of it with a massive cheat meal that will make me feel sick delicious I do faster cardio every day, and I hate it. <laughs> Why do I do it? Why do we do it to ourselves? Well, the point is this. It's about persistence, and it's about focus, which is things we're gonna talk about later. The Rock is massive on there. But yeah, number seven, or number eight, I can't remember having a, a, a plan for this now, is make sure you get your cardio in just one way or the other. He preaches that a lot too. You don't have to do faster cardio. There's no benefit to doing faster cardio. I stop as I get to my car. If you like doing it, do it. If you don't like doing it, don't do it. Have it do it in the middle of the day. Do it with some food. You can do it before training. You can do it after training. I would never advocate for doing it before training because then you're going to wear yourself out. You're going to do his back and bicep workout later, so I will show you that. Fitness should be enjoyable and fitness should be about what works for you. So that's step one. Get your cardio in one way or the other. Even if you're just flown around the world and you've got to shoot a movie, and now we move on to breakfast. So when it comes to The Rock, he's very much uh, an egg and oats man, which makes perfect sense. Egg and oats always works. And he has, uh, I should say, he has egg and steak in the morning. Now we're not doing The Rock's diet today, we're doing The Rock's cheat meal, because I thought that would be more entertaining. But I can walk you through my breakfast, even though, again, trying to film anything where I am is, is exceptionally hard. Now usually, you would have seen my what I eat in a day video. If not, it'll be out there right now. Hopefully I remembered to put it on the channel. But I have a, I have a bunch of eggs, again, because eggs just, uh, <laughs> eggs just rock. But I usually have a couple of chicken sausages. Now, they're all sold out of chicken sausages at the moment because life's crazy over here in the UK. So we can easily just substitute it for chicken. There's 100 grams of chicken, nice and easy, around about 30 grams of protein. I uh, have around about 10 egg, egg, 10 egg whites, which is also around about 30 grams of protein. So it's about 60 grams of protein. Have some rice porridge, have some blueberries. I'll show you that as well. But just remember to, to season your food too. Like season your food, just get some salt. All right, salt. Put it in there. Salt ain't gonna kill you. It may bloat you a little bit. Just make sure you drink enough water. The point is, you don't have to eat, you know, white and green all the time, like rice and broccoli. Make sure you shake it up. Make sure you're enjoying your food. Because if you're not enjoying your food, you're probably not enjoying your diet, and then you're gonna cheat. Although, trust me, the cheat we're having later, I may never wanna cheat again. Right, rice porridge or cream of rice, as it's called in uh, America. You can't really get it over here, so I have to get it from a very specific place known as Cardiff Sports Nutrition, the nutrition shop in Wales. So you take anywhere from 300 to 350 milliliters, or whatever milk you want. I use almond milk because again, we've talked about it before, I'm a moron and an idiot, and even though it's just water, I enjoy it. And then yeah, you get this big, this big tub. You basically make it like it's a, a protein, shake you literally i take 100 grams which is around about 350 calories uh, and you yeah like i say you just put it in a shake as we're doing now you weigh it out never trust the scoop we've talked about this before the scoop is not your friend the scoop will <laughs> the scoop will lie to you and ruin your dreams i've just realized i've forgotten the lid so you get the lid you put it in your shaker i've got a nice green one because you know green's the best color it's not true at all and you shake it like this it's really weird right it's not like how you make normal porridge or anything like that you then go past the camera and ruin the shot you get yourself just a saucepan. Now, most people do it in the microwave. I don't have a microwave. My girlfriend does it at her house, and I've tried it in the microwave, and it's just as nice, it's fine. But if you just put it in a pan, 
and boil it up as if it is oats. It's just really nice. You throw some blueberries in there. Honestly, it's one of my favorite meals. Boom, there it is. It kind of looks like paste <laughs> that you do your wallpapers with. But honestly, it's, uh, I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. But yeah, go back to what The Rock eat. The, the Rock keeps it kind of basic. He has steak, he has eggs, he has oatmeal. You can do those kind of things. Maybe don't eat as much as he does, because I think there's so many people just find those kind of diets and they just do it verbatim. Like, you are not The Rock. And The Rock, no matter what else he may be doing, clearly has really good genetics. But in a number six, in terms of ways to train like The Rock, because don't forget, training like The Rock is not just about going to the gym and lifting weights. It is about... You've got to think and act like The Rock. And one of the most interesting things about him is that you cannot fault his work ethic. No matter what you think about him, what you don't think about him, his work ethic is absolutely incredible. Again, we've already talked about no matter where he is in the world, no matter how jet lagged he is, he gets up, he does his cardio, he does his gym. He's in a very privileged position in the sense his gym gets flown around the place and that includes putting cardio gear in his hotel rooms and whatnot. But that's what kind of fitness comes down to. It comes down to not just that, but your life as well. It comes down to just putting the work in. That doesn't mean that you deserve success. That doesn't mean guarantee that you're going to get success but it means you've put yourself in a position to hopefully get what you want out of life and I think the real key with that it means when you get to your later years in life and you're looking back you won't have any regrets because as long as you tried and as long as you gave everything your all do you know what I mean like there's you, you may not get the success that you want but you'll never you'll never be able to go oh I should have tried harder I shouldn't have tried you did it you've done it and that is exactly what comes into it but apply that to your own life as well try and figure out what you want which is absolutely an incredibly hard thing to do cross the things off your board that you may go and try that you don't like doing equally as good as figuring out what you do want to do but always just make sure you throw yourself into it including in rice porridge oh it's so good there's so much sweetener in there <laughs> i'm pretty sure if you just ate rice porridge but it's the most disgusting thing ever but i am i tell you you take advantage of the modern world you put sweetener in there flipping delicious let me move on to the main part of breakfast main part is that even a thing eggs Avocado, healthy fats, chicken that, my word, I abs absolutely overcooked and it's dry as anything. And then some ketchup. You can get no added salt and sugar ketchup. It is like five calories per 15 grams. And 15 grams of ketchup is absolutely those, but five calories, you could have that throughout the day, but make sure you count it too. Something else The Rock always does, that I actually do as well. Get your phone, get your computer, get what anything. As you're eating your breakfast, read the news. Catch up on what's going on in the world. I honestly find it oddly therapeutic to do, and it's something I also look forward to. So let's chow down, and yeah, catch up on what's going on in the world. Anyway, now I have to go and do some work. Obviously, it's the morning. That's what I'm going to do. Got some Zoom calls, got some videos to record. And then we'll be back in a second to talk about The Rock. Obviously, because that's how these videos work. Number five, when it comes to training like The Rock, is you've got to be persistent. Persistency is a massively key thing. And again, it ties into the gym. I know it kind of ties into the last point, but it's true. Also sat here in my car. We're about to get ready to train. But I thought, you know, we'll just film it in the car with my hood up. Why? It's not a weird thing to do. Guy over there looking at me. <laughs> There's nobody there, I'm kidding. Yeah, persistency and consistency are two of the things that you absolutely need to apply when you do go to the gym. Because what too many people do, and I totally understand why, right? Is you start going to the gym and you don't see what you want to see within a week, two weeks. You can kind of accept that. You're like, well, you know, it's only been a week, two weeks. But you can actually get six months to a year and you're still not seeing the things you want to see. And then you decide you're doing it wrong, so on and so forth. This crap takes ages. In fact, it takes too long. You've got to love it. That's the key. You've got to love it. But I think the cool thing about learning to be persistent and learning to be consistent is if you want to get then you take that and you apply it to your real life, you're going to see success there as well. It's one of the reasons I think The Rock resonates with a lot of people, be it on Instagram or whatever. He's always doing stuff. He never, ever, ever stops. There's going to be times when you're down on your luck. Of course there is. Nobody can be smashing it 100% of the time. And it's in those moments where, of course, you need to give yourself a mental and a physical break. But it's also when you need to really decide what you do want and what you don't want. If you really do want it just don't stop don't quit like just do not do it but i think it's really important in those moments where you are at your weakest if you really want something you've got to keep pushing for it it's true i honestly i started lifting weights when i was 16 but i would say it wasn't until i was like 22 22 until i thought okay we're actually getting somewhere with this but luckily i love the gym and i'm excited to go in there now like i say we're gonna do back and buys so let's get on with that because number four if you want to be trained like the rock and be big on the rock you got to train like The Rock. I just said the same thing twice. Say everything twice. Macho Man Raddy Savage. Right, The Rock. I've chosen back and biceps or a pull day because I haven't done it this week. Again, kind of like Arnie, you saw that video a week or so ago. It does a lot. 
I don't believe they actually do all this stuff. Like, he's a bit different because he doesn't just do four sets, reps, reps, reps. He kind of jumps around the place. Um, so, a lot of that pull down stuff, a lot of rows. But look, this is where I found the information. We'll see how it goes. And if you want to then try and do it yourself, you can. Just don't do the people's eyebrow. Makes you a loser. See, I'm a loser, I'm laughing at myself. All right, let's go. So I've always started with uh, pull-ups, which we are going to do later. But the rock starts with lat pull-downs, which is kind of the same thing, right? It's just a way of doing weighted pull-ups when you think about it. The machine is taken, <laughs> as always. So again, always be adaptable, as we always talk about. We've got a diverging lat pull-down, which is a word somebody in a fitness company made up one day. It, do I think it's as good as a lat pull-down? No. But is it better than you just, you know, stood around waiting? Of course. So, you know, just get on with it. And he does four sets of ten reps. I'm not got this thing down. We're going to go anyway. Moving on, now do single rows, same stuff. What is it, 12 reps, four sets. And you want to know what The Rock does for his split. He kind of goes crazy, six days on, one day off, so he keeps that per week. And I think he does like legs, back, which we're doing today. He's got a separate arms day, there's chest and abs, shoulders, and he does legs again, then he rests. And this is his diet and his um, training program where he's trained for Hercules, and he says on Sunday he has ice cream sandwiches, which is probably true if you've seen his uh, Instagram. Dumbbell, singles, whatever they're crying. Right, we now move on to the called rope pullovers. We saw my Arnie video the other week, the rope just goes missing. So I lost Charles, should be on milk cards. But again, it's all about being adaptable. That's what I'm gonna shout. Rock with focus. I'm gonna shout adaptable. Here's a straight bar. I'm gonna kiss it, not doing that. Nobody really does rope pullovers anymore, bar pullovers, whatever you call them, that pullovers. I really like them, you just have to, the problem is, I want to make sure you keep a straight back. You want to make sure you keep a straight arm. Because, you know, when you move into this territory, you're going to be working with triceps. So, we drop down to three sets here. And we do three sets of pull-ups as well, which is kind of strange. It's just a failure. There's many things you can do. I don't worry if you do start fitting in other areas of your body too. It's a human body, right? It's going to happen. No one has, like, laser focus. Do that mind muscle thing like your Spock. It's not Spock. That's the NWO. <laughs> like your Spock. Mind, memory, muscle, feel it. Works. This workout has killed me so much. I can't pull myself up at all. Damn the flipping rock. Two questions. One, do you train traps with back or shoulders? Who gives a shit? Do what you want. Try some pull who cares? Do you want. Second of all, don't do ego strokes. Ego strokes, you get the bar, you go. Gotta hold it. Really feel it. Sucks a little bit, but you're only cheating yourself. Right, the inverted row. I haven't done these in ages. Some people say rock supersets and hyper extensions, I'll do that. You don't have to do what you want, three sets. I find these weird, they're hard to do, but they are good when you get them right. Some people put their feet up on a break like I'm doing, some people don't. Again, just whatever you have is good. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so we already mentioned The Rock does arms on his own separate day, which is another big question people always ask themselves. Like, what should I do arms on a separate day? Should I do them with back? Again, just do whatever works for you. I like doing them with, with back or a pool day, because I find like I've smashed my back so much, I can already fill up my biceps, so I may as well go finish it off. So I've kind of adapted what he does for his arms. He does around about six to seven sets total on biceps and triceps. He does four for his tricep, three for his biceps. The end bicep means two, smaller muscle group than your tricep. Always keep that in mind. It's like you should work your back harder than you should work your arms, right? But you should work everything hard and you get what I'm saying. Dumbbell curls, the best and easiest form that way. We are back. Jeez, my knees, that's like volume, I said that, volume crazy. All these people love volume. So now we have uh, post-workout ice cream, which I'll show you in a second. And then we talk about number three 
in ways to train like The Rock, you better bet your ass you're going to have to accept failure. Now, the first thing you're going to want to know is what the hell is in this. It's just anabolic ice cream. You must have seen it on YouTube. It's flipping everywhere. But I have 200 grams of fruit. I have 200 milliliters of almond milk. Yeah, it was me. And I have two scoops of whey protein. Some people put ice in there. Some people put guar gum in there. Guar gum just bloats me, so I'm like, screw it. And it tastes delicious. I still do the whole thing that as soon as I get in, I get some protein in me. Do you need to do that? No, there's, there's no benefit to it, but I enjoy doing it. Again, which I've talked about a thousand times. Right, point number three, dare to fail, fail to succeed. The Rock talks about this all the time. You cannot see an interview with The Rock where he doesn't go on about having $7 in his pocket when he got kicked out of the NFL and he got kicked out of the CFL and he didn't know what he was gonna do. Let me just check my wallet and let me just see how much money I got. I have no idea what I, so I pull out my wallet and I start looking through it and I had a five, a one, and some change. And that kind of pertains to his wrestling career. He came in as Rocky Maivia. Rocky Maivia sucked, then he transitioned into The Rock. And it happened with his acting career. There was a time where you will have noticed he just vanished from Hollywood because he was picking the wrong directions, probably listening to the wrong people. But there's failures there along the way, right? He failed a hell of a lot, but the point was, he learned from, you've all heard this a thousand times, but he learned from those failures. And actually, you can't be a massive success unless you fail. You just can't, it's absolutely impossible. And also, you may not even appreciate your success unless you fail. So do not worry about putting yourself in situations, scoop of ice cream, that was weird. Do not be worried about putting yourself in situations where it could all fall down. Dare to fail. And my, it's my best phrase I've ever heard in my life. It changed my life in many ways. Dare to fail. Just do it. Just go for it. Whatever you want to do, even if it's going to the gym. I get that going to the gym can be scary. These are the way you train like the rock. Not just by going to the gym and doing his back and bicep workout or doing his split. That's nonsense, right? It's just nonsense. It's about embracing everything. It doesn't mean you're gonna be as big as him, it doesn't mean you're gonna be as successful as him, but hopefully it will mean you're as satisfied as him. It's all about satisfaction. Point two is once a week or whenever you feel like you need to do it, having a cheat meal like The Rock. Now my cheat meals are usually, they used to be absolutely massive, but I curb tailed them recently because I thought I'm eating too much. That's about to change. Let's get into it. All right, so the last part of this crazy day is The Rock's cheat meal. I'm sure you have seen a ton of these that he does on Instagram. The one I found was from last June. Sometimes you just gotta find information and stick to it. And he has, he has two eight ounce burgers, which is 500 grams, which is that many burgers. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a lot of meat. That's a lot of flipping meat. And he also has a bunch of fries. So I've got my bunch of fries. I'm gonna put them on my, I mean, I tried to get, it doesn't say how many fries he had, right? So I kind of just guessed, but that to me, th that amount of fries takes up an entire baking tray. So don't come at me telling me it's not a lot of fries. Imagine you did. Door. Hello, you haven't had enough fries. I'll be like, Mother Hubbard, you crazy. That goes over there, ruined the second camera. So they're gonna go in, gonna fry up the burgers. You can grill them, look. The point is, sometimes you do things like this and people go, it's not very healthy. What? Oh, let's cook them in the oven. Like, what difference does it make? Also, if you fry them in olive oil, it's good fats anyway. So, fries go in. That is, uh, that is all good to go. Obviously, burgers don't take that long to cook. And then we'll eat it. I'm not gonna drink his tequila. I don't know whether you've seen my other videos or not. I don't drink alcohol because I'm a dick. Weirdest lying ever in here. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's way over 2,000 calories, and that's me being conservative. You can't even see the other burger is, <laughs> is buried under the chips. Let me get rid of that. The other burger is buried under the chips. But hey, man. Don't treat yourself. Treat yourself. That's what The Rock does. There's way too much salt on those, on those chips. Let's just enjoy ourselves. That light is ridiculous. And don't forget, while you are doing it, like earlier, read, educate yourself. Always use the time you have because that's what life is all about. I was all right. I wasn't, that's not as much of a pig I am. I could probably eat that again. <laughs> However, we now have to do the Rock's dessert. You will see. You will flip and see. I mean, this cheesecake, which I've had, had two slices on, <laughs> to back to the Rock's, and it just broke as I fell over. That's 600 calories. <laughs> that's 600 calories right there, hang on. It's better if we just do this and we get close. So you've got your big lump of cheesecake, you got your normal milk chocolate cookies, you got double chocolate chocolate cookies, and I couldn't get blondies. I don't even know what blondie is, if I'm completely honest. So I've got brownie and blondie bites. This is probably even less 
than what he has. But I'm gonna, uh, who even knows? <laughs> I didn't believe he eats it. I think he just puts it on Instagram and says he eats it, but bon appetit. There's something like weird with the camera. So I switched over to our mobile phone. Just threw crumbs everywhere. That was not hard. <laughs> that was probably about three and a half thousand calories, which is massively crazy. I'm still hungry, which nobody will believe, but it is true. Uh, admittedly, I didn't eat my usual meals today. I only had three meals, usually I have about five or six. I am surprised. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder than it was, so I guess we'll have to start doing eating challenges. I did promise you a 10,000 calorie challenge at one point, we'll do it in the comments below. And now you also need to do the, the number one. And the number one way to train like The Rock, just do a bunch of drugs. <laughs> That's a joke. It's a joke. I came up with it. I couldn't help it. The dude works hard. I don't care if he's doing drugs. I don't care if he's not doing drugs. I've said it before. If you're rich enough that you can get a doctor to check on you probably every single day, you can probably do drugs and they will give you just enough so you can be superhuman without killing yourself. Um, I'm surprised by that cheat, man. I was actually quite intimidated by it, but now I'm hungry. Maybe I go have another steak or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, don't go crazy. Another one of these vlogs, I'm gonna try and do them once a week. Still finding my feet with it, still trying to piece it all together. I know some of the shots need to be better. We'll definitely work on all of that. But like the video, share the video. If you're brand new, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, ding, ding. Then you know when other videos are going live. Got other videos, one will be on the screen right now. Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, merchandise, all in the description below. I'm off to eat more food because I'm an absolute pig, but honestly, Thank you so much for um, the support. Thank you much for just watching. It's crazy. Uh, the old videos aren't going away. Always like to caveat that with this. Yeah, done. How to train out the rock, baboon.